everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. We have the whole family here in our new van and we're going on our very first road trip. Who's excited? Who's excited? Are you excited? We're going to Nani's house. Marky's here. So I'm sitting in the back and this is probably not going to go very well because I get car sick. But we're worried that the baby is not going to be happy. So um, I'm taking one for the team and I'm going to sit back here for a little while. Make sure he gets maybe to sleep and then I can move up front. But I thought it might be fun to vlog this first road trip as a family of five. It's only supposed to take us two and a half hours. Hey, I'm vlogging back here. We got videos going up loud. I'm gonna make sure the volume works. It works. <laughs> um, so first, first road trip as a family of five. It's supposed to take us two and a half hours to get there. We're having issues already. We have not even pulled out of the driveway. It's going to be a fun time. Let's see. It's 3 o'clock right now. The baby has to eat about 4.30. So I have breast milk already pumped. And just everybody is already melting down. I have two out of the three kids crying right now. You're not crying. You're happy. Okay. So we're going to vlog this. We'll let you guys know how it goes, so I'm going to get off and try to comfort everybody as we pull out of... Um... We haven't fun yet! <laughs> Lucy, what? Lucy, where is it? Look, David, go back. Let's get her pillow. Go back. We're going back to get her pillow. Mark's already upset, so we're going to vlog this trip. Y'all stay tuned. Pray for us. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Because suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hand, said, let's leave now. be shy I will let my guard down all right guys it's now been like 30 minutes or less since we left Lucy and I started getting car sick and we broke out the snacks that seemed to help and the baby fell asleep so that's good he cried for a little while what are you doing he ain't eating some goldfish got all stuck in his teeth He's eating animal crackers, and I had a, you guessed it, oatmeal cream pie. What are we watching? Saucy and snow. Saucy and snow. Peppa Pig. Oh, <laughs> it pushed all into my face. Okay, so I'm sitting way back here with Nate, and if you wonder where Layla is, she is in the trunk. Um, not the trunk. She's right there in her cage. So she's actually being really good. She's not crying too bad. So this van is such a blessing. We have plenty of room. We are still really loaded down. Like the amount of stuff for the baby is insane. When you start packing up bottles, breast pump. Uh, you okay, Nate? Um, her cost blankets, clothes, everything he needs. Formula, diapers, wipes, it's insane. And then all the stuff the kids need, sound machines and all that. So I will say we have a little tiny sound machine right beside him, like the a Rome white noise machine that I'm obsessed with that he uses every single day. And as soon as I put that sound machine on, he like leans his head toward it to hear it better. And it really helps drown out a lot of other stuff, like Peppa Pig that's playing right now. So where are we going? To Nani and Poppy's house. Are you happy about that? What are you going to Grandma's house on Sunday. That's right, Grammy Grandma's house on Sunday. What are we going to do there? What are we going to do at Nani's house? He can see himself in the viewfinder. I don't like sitting in the back because I get very car sick, but I do like sitting by Nate. Have a kiss. I love you. Are you my car seat buddy? Yes. Okay. Are we best friends? Yes. Yes. I love you. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll keep you posted. Mark has to, he's probably going to be wanting to eat in the next hour, hour and a half. So I'm hoping he'll sleep until then. 
it should take us about two and a half hours to three, well, let's just be real, three hours to get to mom and dad's house. Um, so maybe like halfway through, he's gonna wanna eat. So right now he's sleeping like a little angel. All right guys, update time. It's now been, we've officially been gone almost an hour. And Mark slept for about 30 minutes and he's awake, but he's just looking around. Looking around. I know I need to buckle my seatbelt. I just unbuckled it. Because I had to reach him. Where are we going? Keep talking about it. And mommy's gonna buckle her seatbelt again, and we're just driving. The only thing I don't like about being back here is that the kids think that mommy is their personal slave servant, <laughs> and I've had to get drinks and snacks and stuff that they've dropped and everything else. So I like sitting up front better, but I am sitting back here to help Mark, and he's doing really good. So. He's, oh, right as, right as I say that, he starts crying. <laughs> Alright guys, y'all fingers crossed. We still got like, two or two more hours. Alright you guys, so update. I fed Mark a bottle while he was in the car seat. And he did pretty good actually. He has like a teeny bit left. <clears throat> Thank goodness for breast milk that can stay out of the fridge for up to four hours after it's pumped. So he just took that. I do have a cooler with more breast milk in it, but he does not like it cold. So he'd rather have it warm. We're watching Peppa Pig again. I got nauseous, so we stopped at McDonald's. We got some snacks. We got some water I'm sipping on. How are you? I'm Nate. You're Nate? How old are you? I'm 20. Old. <laughs> I, he just said he was 20 years old. You're not 20 years old. I'm seven years you're old. You're seven, but you're going to have a birthday next week and you're going to be eight. You're about to be eight. Anyway, I'm trying to get Mark to go back to sleep. I keep, I keep hoping and praying. Oh, as I said that, he closed his eyes. Look, y'all. Don't touch him. I literally looked at him as I was talking, y'all. His eyes were open. I, oh, oh, okay. They're opening again. Okay, everybody ignore him. Ignore him. He's going to go back to sleep. Sitting back here, um, thankfully there's a lot of big open um, window, windows. So, it's not, and I have air blowing on me. But, like, how I'm going to be up here, like, feeding the baby and everything. And oh, I get up I get really bad car sick, y'all. Really bad car sick. So. I get close I'm proud about what you're doing back there. I'm doing okay. Um, we still have over an hour before we get there. So, what are we, like, a little over halfway? Oh, yeah, we're over halfway. We're over halfway because we're on the interstate now. I am going to buckle my seatbelt. That's somebody's going to say your seatbelt's unbuckled. I keep having to unbuckle it to deal with the baby, but he's almost asleep, so I'm going to buckle my seatbelt. I know that's not safe. Don't do that. But he needed to eat, so we were able to feed him as we were going down the road. There wasn't really a safe place to stop, so I'm going to buckle it right now. Um, I cannot believe he just said he was 20 years old. Nate. Yeah, we're watching Peppa again. I keep telling David, please turn it down. <laughs> oh, it's real fun back here in the kids section. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. I hope you can hear me okay. But I'll keep you guys updated on how the car ride goes. The baby's actually doing a lot better than I thought he would do. Because even when we go to uh, the doctor's office, which is like two miles down the road, he screams. But he hasn't cried that much. He cried a little bit at first. And he's then been really chill. So I think me being back here and being able to like look at him and stuff, he's a little better than when he can't see me. So. Where's baby Mark? Where's baby Mark? Happy face, sad face, surprise face, surprise face, silly face. Hooray! <laughs> I love mommy face, kissy face. Oh, he's kissing my hand. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Or we ain't goofy. Maybe it's almost asleep. He keeps like opening his and closing his eyes. So I'm going to get off of here so I don't get any worse car sick. But I'm doing pretty good. The french fries. We got these french fries at McDonald's that were like the perfect McDonald's french fries. They were hot. They were fresh. They were delicious. And that did help me like not feel like I could throw up at any moment. So salty always helps. All right. I'm about to run out of memory. I'm just really so I'll see y'all back in a little bit. Okay, you guys. Good news. We are like 10 minutes from Nani and Poppy's house. We did it. See, we did it. Mark just woke up. He's not too happy, but we're so close now. He slept for about 30 minutes and now he's awake. So, <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Nate. Okay, guys. So, thank you all for keeping us company over the over the car ride our first car ride is family of five and i will say i don't think it would have gone as smooth without this van they stop it would not have gone this smooth without this van it's been so nice hey it's been so so nice to have an extra room to have room to spread out to sit back here with the kids and i have done really well i didn't get too car sick there's lots of big windows and it's just been really smooth praise the lord so we are going to end this video here i hope you guys liked hanging out with us it wasn't too eventful so that's good if you like the video you know what to do give it a big thumbs up leave, leave us a comment down below please 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 subscribe if you're new we would love to have you a part of our youtube family hope that you all are doing well and we'll see you later say bye everybody bye bye, bye. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now